Hi, I'm astrologer and life coach Penny Dix. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back if you are a regular visitor here. And if you've not been here before, a big welcome to you too. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe. So today I'm bringing you one of my short heads up videos. But this one is specifically and solely for the sign of Aquarius. And that's whether you have your sun in Aquarius or your ascendant, also known as the rising sign. Aquarius, this is your astrology for March 2023. Are you ready? Are you ready for the biggest change that you've had since Saturn moved into your sign? And that was three years ago because you really, well, um, you've been going through a testing time over the last three years. And this is all about to change. Saturn prepared you for what you can expect with Pluto moving into your sign. On March the 23rd, finally entering your sign formally at the end of 2024. Now I am going to be doing separate videos about Saturn's move from your sign into Pisces and about Pluto's move from Capricorn into your sign Aquarius. So let's start at the beginning for March, but you will remember March as the month when a lot of things shifted and changed, even if it's not that obvious when we start the month off. So let's look at your second house, Pisces, to start with, because this is your house of finance. Because it's Pisces, sometimes finance doesn't stay very long in your hand. It's like water. It just rushes away. It either rushes in or rushes out. So you have to kind of put the brakes on a bit, kind of consciously sometimes, Aquarius. Now, Mercury, our planet of communication, is in this sign in Pisces at the beginning of the month. So it's bringing you news and documents to do with your financial situation. And that may be something as sim simple as money that's owed or money that you've got to send out or anything that is to do with your kind of general financial situation. It could be um, accounting, it can be doing the bookkeeping for your private business if you have one, those kind of things. But that's the sort of energy that comes with this. By the 19th, Mercury will move into your third house, which of course is Aries. Now this is the house of communication. So Mercury is very comfortable in this part of the chart. And Aries actually has an enormous amount of energy this month with everything happening in, in there with the sort of a lot of the smaller inner planets. So Mercury moving into the sign of communication, which is Aries in your chart, really is saying, I think you're gonna be quite fired up this month, Aquarius. I think you'll have plenty to say, plenty to say about lots of things to lots of people. And what I'll just uh, add in here is that on March the 12th in Aries, We've also got Jupiter, our big outer boy Jupiter, our planet of expansion, our planet of opportunity, conjunct Chiron, the wounded healer that's been in this part of your chart, Aries, um, for a while. And Jupiter is now conjuncting this asteroid. So this, if there is anything that, any words that have been spoken, either to you or from you that have perhaps been by in, in some way wounding. And that may not have been deliberately meant, but if you've received anything that's been wounding or given out anything and then realized, oh my God, that was a really awful thing to say. Then Jupiter highlights and, and expands the healing energies of Chiron to soothe troubled waters. The other side of this energy is that Jupiter, because it expands, 
could expand the the kind of the um the obvious that there is something that is really needs to be fixed with regard to communication so it might kind of make you super aware of something you may have said that has not been very kind or something that's been said to you that is not very kind you know it it, it can go either way so that conjunction ultimately brings the opportunity for healing. So it is super good energy. Now, let's just move back a couple of days to March the 7th, because this really is a significant day. Not only do we have the full moon in Virgo on this day, March the 7th, in the part of your chart that is to do with other people's money, with transformation, with sexuality. So this full moon could bring uh, a resolution around a financial transaction. Anything that has had to be, you've had to wait for, could see some sort of resolution and conclusion coming at this time. Now, the other significant and hugely big energy that is happening this day is Saturn, who has been transiting your sign for nearly three years, finally moves into Pisces, your second house of finance. Can you see how this all kind of links up? Full moon in Virgo to do with other people's money. Saturn moves into Pisces, your house of finance, putting down roots, structures, making sure that everything is secure. It all kind of complements itself or each other. So it really is super powerful energy. Now with Saturn in this part of your chart for the next three years approximately, it's giving you a wonderful opportunity to consolidate, to save money, to structure it better, to get it working for you better, to really be quite kind of... Um, sober in your handling of your financial assets because Pisces as I say is fluid so it kind of flows in and flows out and Saturn is going to kind of put some boundaries on that and restrictions and of course you've also got the the kind of planetary gift of Saturn leaving your sign and if you've done the work and I always say this and people say, what work, what work? <laughs> well, it's, you know, we, we have to grow on an inner level if we're ever going to manage and cope with our lives in a fulfilling way. And if we stick our fingers in our ears and go la 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 la, then we're not going to grow and we're not going to change. And Saturn has been giving you this golden opportunity to really grow to become the adult you can be. You know, we're all, we're all a mix of adults and, and our inner child. And, we, you know, we, we can be very naive about things even when we're 90. You know, there's, there's, there's something about the thing that comes with Saturn, which is timing. So if you've really used Saturn in a constructive way, whilst it's transited your sign, you will find that when Saturn finally moves into Pisces, you will feel freer and a lot stronger and a lot more grown up, even if you are 90. Now, the sun will enter Aries, of course, and that's on the spring equinox on the 20th. And this, again, is your house of communication. So this is bringing in some warmth, some light, some love, some health. So healthy communications and fun communications, new beginnings, starting again, writing, writing things down that, that mean something to you. You know, it, it, it really is nice energy. And then the following day on the 21st, we have a new moon in Aries. So Aries has this packed energy this month. And because it's the first sign of the zodiac, it really is heralding for you, Aquarius, 
an absolutely brilliant time for beginning again with everything, anything that you feel, ah, oh, wish I could have a second go at fixing that. This is your opportunity. This is your chance. And if we just move on also to the 21st with Venus, our planet of love, relationship, money, value, Venus in Taurus in your fourth house of home and family conjuncts the North Node. This means that something becomes available which is part of your karmic destiny or you discover something about your ancestry that finally gives value to thoughts, ideas, dreams, musings, wonderings that you've had. By the 30th, Venus will be conjunct my big outer boy Uranus, our planet of shocks and the unexpected, still in Taurus, still in your fourth house, bringing uh, a sense of value to your home. It doesn't matter how small or large your living space is. You will feel with Venus in Taurus because Venus rules Taurus, that your home is your castle and you will feel very comfortable in your home. And Uranus could just bring a surprising kind of, just surprising, something nice, a surprising gift that really enhances your living space. Now we come to the big news. This of course is about our dwarf planet, Pluto, our planet of transformation our planet of beginnings and endings, our planet of change. So Pluto has been transiting your 12th house, Capricorn, for around 15 to 18 years. I think it was 2008, I think it moved into Capricorn. So it's really put you through the mill on an inner level you have had to grow on an inner level in the most extraordinary way. It's been a fight. I think you've resisted it on many levels, but you can't continue fighting it. And as I said before, if you've done the work, then you will be justly rewarded with Pluto as it moves over your ascendant and into your first house of identity. So what can you expect with Pluto in your sign? Well, as I said, I am doing a separate video about that. So I will go into that in a little bit more detail when I do that video. But Pluto, remember, is a planet of transformation. So Aquarians in general may find they transform the way they look on, on one level, have a complete makeover, just change quite dramatically. But you've got 20 years for this. So it's not like something that's just going to happen like that. But it's going to bring a width and a breadth and a depth and a substance to your being, to your humanity, that people will really resonate with. They will see a much more um, sensitive and empathic Aquarius. You know, Aquarius can sometimes be a little bit emotionally remote. But Pluto, because it rules Scorpio, is going to take you down into those deep, dark depths, whether you want to go or not. Kicking and screaming, you're going to go down into those emotional depths. But don't fear it. It's rich with experience and life and what love and life are all about. So on that note, I'll bring your reading for March to a close. Thank you so much for coming to watch this video. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those wonderful things that so many of you are supporting me with. And I really want to give you a big shout out and say, I cannot tell you how much it means to me. It, it's really 
um, been an extraordinary experience. This is probably all part of the Saturn changing signs and Pluto changing signs for me as well in terms of how my channel has changed and and, and grown in that sense. And it's just been an incredibly exciting journey and rewarded by the wonderful support that you all show me. So thank you so much. So on that note, I wish you a blessed March and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.